This is the first video of Sullivan, section one of chapter one. Our objectives for this section, solve a linear equation, solve equations that lead to linear equations, solve problems that can be modeled by linear equations. This first video, we will do objective one only. And so we try to make equivalent equations. Do the same things to both sides. If you've got a linear equation, you do the same thing to both sides, then you're good. The uh, new equation is true. And if the, the uh, equivalent equation is true, they have equivalent equations have all the same solutions. Well, here's the Jackson six-step method for solving linear equations. Linear equations, right? They have x in them, but no x squared. The six get rid of. So we have to get rid of six things and just remember the acronym you see this very cool guy down here that's Xavier he's like a hey. for people like Xavier coolness comes easily F P L X C C E for people like Xavier coolness comes easily get rid of fractions get rid of parentheses get rid of like terms get rid of X on one side get rid of a constant, get rid of the coefficient of x. You do those things in that order, you certainly, I think, can, now can remember to do that, then you can solve the linear equation, which will be in, an important skill all throughout this college algebra course. Here's the linear equation. You can see it is because it's got x to the first power, and so we're going to do the same thing to both sides. We're going to add 5 to both sides to get rid of the constant. We're going to, then we're going to get rid of the coefficient of x, 3, by dividing both sides by 3. So add 5 to both sides. That's how we get rid of a constant. And then 3x equals 9. Divide both sides by 3 to get rid of this coefficient of x. Coefficient means thing multiplied by. And then we get x by itself. And so that's the equivalent equation out of all of them that we like that tells you the answer. And so you can tell that that's the answer because when you plug it in for 3, 3 times 3 are 9, 9 minus 5 are 4, that's the truth. So there's our check. And we write the solution with braces as a solution set. Steps for solving linear equations, well, Sullivan, he's got his way, his way of writing the steps, but we like the six get rid of because we got an acronym to remember it by, and it, it's pretty much the same thing, but it's simpler and easier to follow. Solve a linear equation. What is a linear equation? mentioned it. it ha it's, a, it's an equation that has x in it, but not x squared. It's a little bit oversimplified, but an equation that you can write in the form ax plus b with a not equal to zero, that's a linear equation. Um, sometimes you also see it as uh, uh, ax plus b equals c, but any equation of one form can be written in the other form. Well, here is an equation. This is uh, important to be able to do. We've got all this drama going on and so we want to apply the six get rid ofs to to solve this equation and to, to get rid of all the drama and just get x by itself. Well what are the six get rid ofs? Well for people like Xavier coolness comes easily. F P L X C C E. Get rid of fractions. We've got fractions in this problem we want to get rid of them. We want to get rid of this one-third and this one-fourth. If we could do that, life would be awesome. And so we're going to multiply both sides by a number, which is going to do that. 
What number? Well, it's the least common multiple of 3 and 4. In other words, the least common denominator, which is 12. So we multiply both sides by 12. And on the right, we're just going to have a nice little cancellation here, leaving a 3. On the left, we're going to have a similar can we're going to have the 12s distributing to both things. There are two things inside the brackets. 12 is going to distribute to both of them. That's going to mean a cancellation for this first arc here of the distribution. And then a simple multiplication, 12 times negative 3, or negative 36. And that negative 36 will be right here. And you can see the 12 times the 1 3rd uh, is represented by this 4 here. And this 3 is 12 times 1 4th. And so we have gotten rid of fractions. We are, are going to get rid of parentheses. Of course, we're going to simplify and call that negative 36 right there. We get rid of parentheses by distributing the 4 on the left-hand side and distributing the 3 on the right-hand side. Well, we have to get rid of like terms. We have to combine like terms. So we're going to take this negative 4 and a negative 36 and call it negative 40. And now we're going to, we have a couple more get rid ofs. We have to get rid of x on one side because, you know, if you have x on both sides like that, you're not ready to say what x is. And we're going to get rid of a constant. And so we're going to do, because of space, we're going to do both of those at the same time. We're going to get rid of x on one side. That is, we're going to get rid of the 9x on the left instead of the 4x on the right. So we subtract. We could do it either way. We're going to subtract 9x from both sides. And that's going to give us, what, negative 5x on the left. And... Their x won't even appear on the right now. And we're also going to eliminate the, a constant. We're going to eliminate 40 there, get it on the opposite side of the x, right? We want to get the letters on one side and the numbers on the other side. So add 40 to both sides. That's going to give us 46 on the right, along with that negative 5x on the left. Well, we're just going to divide both sides by negative 5 and that's the coefficient of x and of course that undoes the multiplication by negative 5 that we have in this equation and we're going to have negative 9.2 negative 46 fifths as the answer another one here similar and I'll uh, give you three seconds to kind of think about a strategy for solving it. What's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to get rid of fractions, right? We're going to multiply both sides by some number, which is going to clear out all these fractions, namely 6, right? If we multiply both sides by 6, then all the fractions will be gone. This will become a 3 over here and a 2 over here. 6 times a half are 3, 6 times a third are 2. There's the 3 and there's the 2. So we got rid of fractions. We're going to get rid of parentheses now by distributing the 3 and distributing the 2. By the way, the 6 was distributed to this negative 4. Yes, it was distribution that happened because we multiplied the left-hand side by 6. And um, there are two expressions over here one subtracted from the other on the left. So 6 had to be distributed to that negative 4. And so that's going to end up being negative 24 right there before it in turn gets simplified with something else. But we've got our 3 and our 2, and we want to get rid of parentheses. That's the second get rid of, right? Get rid of fractions, get rid of parentheses, get rid of like terms, get rid of x on one side, get rid of a constant, get rid of a coefficient of x. For people, for people like Xavier, coolness comes easily. Distribute the 3, 
3x plus 15, distribute the 2, 2x minus, 4x minus 2. Got to get rid of like terms. We don't want like terms. We can simplify them. So we combine the 15 and the negative 24 and get a negative 9. And again, we're going to, well, we like to get rid of x on one side and then get rid of the constant. We're, we're doing both of those things kind of at the same time. Sullivan switches the order here. But we're, you can see at this point we're going to be adding 9 to both sides and subtracting 4x from both sides. And that's going to give us negative x, right? 3x minus 4x are negative 1x. And so we do have a coefficient of x of negative 1, which we will have to get rid of. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 1 and get negative 7 for a solution. Negative 7 as x in the original equation gives us the truth. And so, of course, we're going to want to check that. We check negative 7 in the original uh, solution. The left-hand side for x equals negative 7 turns out to be negative 5. The right-hand side for x equals negative 7 turns out to be negative 5 also. So negative 7 makes both sides the same, makes the equation true. Uh, there's also calculator check, which uh, we certainly could and will uh, show you how to do. Equations that lead to linear equations, let us save that for the next video. And that will get it done.